Uh, my name is Nello Cristianini. I am a professor of artificial intelligence at the University of Bristol. So let's consider this, this idea about work for the future. It's about APIs. An API is an application program interface. It's a standardized way in which programs communicate with each other. So a piece of software may need to request another piece of software to do something. So um, software engineers invented a standardized way for a software to request another software to do something. So you could have, let's say, a piece of software that can recognize handwriting and another one that can recognize uh, the meaning contained in text. So the, the AI will send you the first task to one and then the second task to another one. The communication takes place through the API. Why do I bring this up? Because these days, APIs exist that can commission work to people. So for example, uh, if you are a piece of software and you need to have some handwritten text typed up and transcribed into digital text, you may just request this service from a person through something called crowdsourcing, for example, the Mechanical Turk. So Mechanical Turk is a system online, people, it's very, there are many workers on it, they subscribe and they receive very small tasks to do and they get paid a small amount of money. So if you have a million handwritten receipts to be typed up, I will request, my software will request the Mechanical Turk to do them for me. And then I will just receive the answer. I don't need to know what's happening on the other side of the API. If I want uh, a software to deliver a pizza from A to B, I could potentially uh, use two different services. The first bakes the pizza and the second is Uber to pick it up and deliver it. What is interesting is that all these people, and there is one for uh, housekeeping, there are services online and you can just order housekeeping and so on. And many, many other little tasks can be done by people for small amounts of money to their telephones or to their computer or to their tablet. And so they gather money doing mechanical little jobs. On who does the work, what job they do, and uh, how much they are paid is managed by software layer that communicates with them through the API. So now we inverted the traditional relation. Machines are no longer doing the tasks given by people. These are people doing the tasks given by machines. And uh, the jobs that are happening below the API, so to speak, they are ready for automation. They are so specified, there is an input and there is an output and there is a, an amount of money you pay. We can expect those jobs, Uber, uh, handwriting, recognition, to be the first ones to be replaced by machines. The infrastructure is ready. It doesn't matter anymore if the job is done by a person or by a machine. Even more interesting, these people are very often actually working on training their own replacement because this is the standard way in which we get our training data for the learning machines we build. If I want to build a learning machine to recognize handwriting, I will need millions of examples of handwriting to compare with the content typed in. Who is going to give them to me? Well, human task workers, managed in this very way I described. So there are lots of people out there constantly being managed by machines through the API and generated the training data for the software that will replace them in five, ten years. Every time an automatic car drives around, even if there is a person supervising it, it is generating training data. Uh, so we, 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 we are creating this ecosystem in which there is a, the middle manager can be replaced by a machine. The task worker in this moment is not, but they are at the same time being displaced by increasingly competent machines. And then there are going to be jobs way above the API, in which there is no competition yet from machines. So we will we'll see this different layers. So which uh, jobs are going to be most affected by the current acceleration in artificial intelligence? Well, maybe no job will be entirely replaced, but certainly transportation is one that we talk about a lot. Uh, increasingly, a larger part portions of a journey can be automated by a few the current car, uh, automated cars, maybe not the full journey, but a large amount. Call centers may be largely automated by things that I like to call the children of Siri, software that is Siri-like in answering questions. Not entirely, but largely. And then uh, you can imagine translation and speech recognition and computer vision replacing people who used to type documents or transcribe speech. So these are the most obvious uh, 
candidates for competition by machines using today's technology. And then we can think about tomorrow's technology, which is under research today. Yeah, so we used to think that automation is a threat mostly to blue-collar jobs. So we, we, we came to terms with the idea that machines can displace construction workers and so on. And it, it's still the case because uh, jobs like drivers, truck drivers, or checkouts in supermarkets are under threat by automation. But increasingly this is coming to white-collar jobs too. So we can imagine translation becoming better by machine and uh, th th threatening some human translators. We can imagine aspects of banking that are increasingly being automated. And then we can imagine, uh, by the way, stock traders sometimes are automated these days. And then even journalists, there is a lot of work in generating content by, by machine. And one day they can become increasingly used. All of these things are not about a complete replacement, but are about an erosion of a significant percentage of the work done by people.